All right, guys. So uh, what I wanted to go over today was just take a really quick look at you know, the first things I look at when I'm troubleshooting large assembly performance. One of the first things that I do is I check for external references because that's something that could help this, could stop this from actually opening in, uh, you know, large assembly mode or in lightweight. So, um, you know, that's where I'm going to get probably the biggest bang for my buck as far as like time savings. So if I go to external references here at, at the state that my design is currently at, all of my references should either be locked or broken, right? So, um, yeah, I could go individually through here and lock or break all of those, but there's a really nice option from the top level here where I could say lock all or break all. So uh, break all would be permanent, right? You can't reestablish those references without going back and like editing it in context and uh, re reattaching that. But uh, lock is going to give me all of those same benefits as far as from a performance standpoint. So I could say lock all here. That's going to go part by part and through all the references and lock them, and it happens very quickly. Um, the nice thing about that is that I can always unlock all of those references if I need to, or unlock them individually if I want. So again, this this is something that really helps to stop kind of like circular rebuilds and like all sorts of stuff that would cause performance issues. Um, one of the other places that would look next, um, you know, besides that performance evaluation I showed you guys back on, I think tip number like 15 or something like that, is assembly visualization. Specifically, in some of the newer versions of SOLIDWORKS, they added this performance analysis, which is really nice because, you know, by default, the tabs are kind of set up for you know, really to be customized um, and for kind of just general assembly stuff. But the performance analysis, what it does is it, it adds in the tabs that are actually relevant to performance here. So we get uh, the amount of rebuild time it takes for each part, right, which could be relevant, especially if I have external references. Um, you know, they're being triggered from that top level. The amount of time that it takes to open each of these files, right? Um, generally, you know, based off of the file size and stuff like that. Um, the number of graphics triangles, that, again, that's going back to number 15 that I had there was, you know, really in the assembly level, something that really affects like not only your open time, but just a file size and rotation, all sorts of stuff is, is this graphics triangles. and. You can see in this case, I have this part, which is a fastener, which is pretty typical when I'm working with uh, these large assemblies. Um, somebody, you know, was working on an assembly, didn't change the image quality or wasn't maybe paying attention. And you can see this is using, compared to the next nearest part there, significantly more resources, right? And this is something that could probably be brought way down to, to almost nothing if we really came in. I mean, best practices here would say, you know, we would want to have these, the thread suppressed for one, but then we could also go into those image quality settings like I showed you guys before, put that down at more of kind of the, our normal level here. Go back and see, it's probably nowhere near the top now. Yeah, it's, it's way down there. So, uh, hopefully this helps you guys uh, give it a try, you know, eliminate some of those external references, go and check for your image quality settings and um, yeah, lighten up your assembly. So hopefully this helps you guys have a great day.